Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with the Moray, and today I'm sharing this really cute little treat box. Isn't that adorable? It's so small. Um, it actually measures um, almost two inches by three and a um, quarter, and it's one inch wide. But it's really cute. And I made this one as a baby favor or a party favor for a baby shower. But I'm going to show you another version. I'm going to show you the Easter version of this box. And so I am using today the Welcome Easter stamp set. Isn't that so adorable? I love this one. I know I'm going to use this one a ton. And I'm going to actually use this Happy Easter on here this time. And I'm going to use the Little Lamb. And you can also do this as a baby party favor if you want with the little lamb. It's really cute. For this box, we are going to use our largest stitched rectangle. And I already cut that out. And so it is this one right here, the largest in this group of rectangles here. So it's that largest one. And I'll tell you what it measures so that if you don't have these, you can still make this. So this one measures five and an eighth by three and three quarters. It's a hair bigger than three and three quarters, but about three and three quarters. And then you're going to need another piece. And this piece is five by three and three quarters. And that's what we're going to do for the bottom of the box. I also cut out one of our stitch shapes, the circles. And this is the second largest in the stitch circles. Then for this baby one here I use the Well Said stamp set and I just use the Hello Baby for this. This one's a great one to have because you can put so many um, sentiments together and so that's what I did for this one. And it is a two box set too. So this time we are going to use the Little Lamb so let's go ahead and stamp him first. We're going to stamp him on here with some Memento Black because we are going to color him with our blends. That's what I did with the little, the little chick. So we're going to do the same with this little lamb. He's so cute. I wanted to use this little lamb. Isn't he adorable? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the happy, happy Easter on this little piece here. I'm going to end up trimming it, but I'm going to go ahead and stamp it and get it ready. All right, so let's go ahead and color this little lamb. I'm going to be using light gray granite, and I'm going to use a little bit of dark and then some Rococo Rose in the light. And I'm just going to lightly color his little fur or his fluff. I'm just going to outline it and give it a little bit of detail. I'm, and then we're going to just kind of outline the whole body. This is going to be really, really simple coloring because I don't really want to color him. I just want to give it the illusion that, he, that he's colored or that he's white. But I'm going to just use a little bit of the dark and I'm just going to kind of go under here kind of where it would be shadowed. So it's just under his little neck here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a little of the Rococo Rose. And I'm just going to color his cheeks a little bit to give him some little cheeks. And then I'm going to use my um, color lifter and make it a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to kind of blend it in there and make it a little bit lighter. But I really wanted him to have some rosy cheeks. And then for his necktie, I'm going to use some Mitt Macaron. I'm going to use the dark because I'm going to use the Mitt Macaron um, designer series paper. So I thought it would just match his, his paper. Oh, I'm going to do inside his ears as well.
and that is going to be all the coloring I'm going to do for him. So look at him. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. I just don't want to overcolor him because I think he's super cute just the way he is. Now what I'm going to do with my Happy Easter is I'm just going to cut really close to the letters here. And I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to separate them. And then I'm just going to trim these down to make them smaller so I can fit them on this little box. So there's the Easter and then we're going to do the Happy. So just hand trim it down. And then that's going to be it for our, our Happy Easter. And I am using the Label Me Pretty Punch, and I'm just going to get this ready. It has a little hole here, and it also has a little bar that will cut that little slit that I have in there. So this is a really nice one. This is a new one in our mini catalog. So I'm going to line it up on the side. And I'm going to just cut one of those on each side. And that's how I'm going to run my ribbon through so that I don't have to, I want to, I want it to make it easy to come off. I don't want to glue that on there. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this scoring tool up here. And I simply scored, and we're going to score these pieces. Now, we are going to just score one inch on all four sides on all of these. And I need my other, got my bone folder. I could use my bone folder, it wouldn't hurt. All right, so just one inch on all four sides on both of these pieces is so it's really simple simple scoring. Okay. So now we're going to cut these all the same way. I'm going to cut those. I kind of got off track on that one, but we're covering this with designer series paper. And then we're going to cut the other one the exact same way. I love the little stitching around it. They are a hair difference. They're about an eighth of an inch difference in the size of these. So that's why it fits together really nicely. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put it together. And I'm going to mat it after because I really like to mat after. I know a lot of people, if you really are the kind that want to mat before, you can go ahead and do that. But we're going to sharpen these score marks. Okay, so they all are sh all are sharpened. We're going to put these together. Always when you're creating boxes, a, a really good key is to make sure your score marks are really sharpened up. It makes things more crisp and clean. So we're just going to adhere these with some Tombow. So that's the bottom, and then this one's going to be our top. And I just put the glue on the wrong side. I've been doing a box that you put the glue on the opposite side, and I've made quite a few of them. So my mind is still <laughs> on the fact that I'm creating the other box. All right, so now this should fit on here just right. And it fits really, really good in there. And then we're going to mat it. Now to mat this, I am using our Settles Designing Series Paper, the 6x6. And this has 
all colors, four different designs. It's really, really nice. It's one of my favorite, and of course, I just love the gingham. And so for the sides, you are going to need two pieces that are one and three. Or these are seven eighths by three. Two that are seven eighths by one and three quarters. And then this one's one and three quarters by three. And this one's for the top. So let's add that. I love this mint macaron and I don't use it enough so I thought I would do this one but it would look cute for Easter of either the um, Highland Heather or the Daffodil Delight also like I did on that other one you know any Easter colors would be really cute and I love that there's the stitching on the end here that's what made me think to use it for a baby favor, party favor, or baby box because of the little stitching on the bottom, kind of. All right, one more. And then here's our little box. Isn't that cute? You can also use like your half inch hole punch and you can punch a little half moon here so it's easier to open this but I really like it being solid on this one I didn't want to put a little nook in there so I'm going to use this little eighth inch um, ribbon on this one and this is the mint mac macaron this is also in our new um, catalog mini catalog in March Third, the, the new items come out for the celebration. So for every $50 that you spend, you are going to be able to choose one of the new items that came out. So be looking for that. So I'm stringing this through. This one's a little bit smaller. I need to cut it so I can tie a bow. And we're going to tie the bow on the side. I like to kind of pull it a little bit tight. I'm going to trim that. Isn't he cute? He's so cute, this little lamb. It's just adorable. The stamp set is so cute. All right, and then we're going to just add the Happy Easter. And I'm going to just use some wet glue here. And we'll just add that up here. And I'm actually attaching it to this so that it will come off when you want to just slide it off. And you'll be it, nothing will be attached to the box. And then we'll put the Easter down here. And there you have it, a little Easter box. Isn't he cute? And that little, the little um, bunny would be just as cute. Look at the bunny or the little duck. Here's the little duck. So there you go, two versions, a happy Easter or a baby box. It's your choice. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. My hostess code came off, but this is my February hostess code if you'd like to order any supplies. You can shop on my blog at stampingwithamora.com. I hope you all have a blessed one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.